Where is it? Where is it? Maybe it's hiding somewhere here? Maybe here? Jesus, I really can't find it. I really don't know where it is. Oh, hi there. I was just looking for my motivation. I kind of lost it on the way as, you know, as happens when you're involved in a very long-term project like doing a PhD, writing a research paper. Motivation is this funny little thing that just gets lost somewhere on the way and then we can't find it. So in this video I'm going to show you exactly how to find your motivation back so you get back on track and you get started and finish more importantly and you finish writing your research paper or your thesis. So if you're new here, my name is Marek Kiczkowek and I run Academic English Now where I help PhD students and researchers write research papers for top journals in the field and be able to do that regularly. And one of the big things that a lot of people struggle with is motivation. And the funny thing about motivation is that, you know, usually initially when we start something, we feel super excited, pumped, we like, you know, I'm gonna do it. You lay out a plan, you start doing it. And then slowly kind of day by day, week by week, your motivation starts disappearing. And then one day you kind of wake up and you stop doing the work. And then the next day you don't do it again. And then you just stop doing it. And then people try to find motivation in different places, but it's difficult to get back on track. So I want to share with you like two really important things that can help you um, regain motivation and maintain it throughout long periods of time, right? And these two tips are really based on research, right? So you might find them perhaps, you know, a, a bit unusual, something that you're not used to, but I want to stress that they are based on scientific research and there's a lot of peer-reviewed research that supports this. So what are these two things that help with maintaining and gaining motivation? There are two types of visualization. There is positive visualization and negative visualization. And visualization basically is, as the name suggests, it's visualizing or vividly imagining a, a future state, right? But it's important to highlight here that I really mean vividly imagining something. So you, you want to really think about, you know, how you feel, where you are, are you on your own or with other people, what are you wearing, you know, all these kind of things to really paint a vivid picture of a future situation, right? And now there are two types, positive and negative visualization. And in general, you might think that, you know, visualizing, you know, achieving the goal and the positive things is always the best for motivation. But that's not actually the case. It is really good for gaining motivation and getting started, getting that necessary momentum to start moving forward, right? But it's not actually that good when it comes to maintaining motivation over long periods of time. Then negative visualization is much better. And I'm going to talk about both of them. So how can we positively visualize something? Well, what you need to do is, of course, get clear on your goal and what you want to achieve. And then I would suggest, you know, on a piece of paper, it's always best to write it, you know, write down exactly how are you going to feel when you achieve that goal, right? And I would recommend that you do it in the present tense, right? So we are imagining our and visualizing our future state and self, but we are writing it in the present tense as if we have already, you know, become that person. We are that person right now, even though it's a future state, right? So you want to write, you know, where you are, how are you feeling at the moment, right? What, what have you achieved? Who is around you and how do these other people respond to you, talk to you, you know, how do they feel, right? What opportunities do you have right now? What are you wearing, right? In which place are you, right? And all this needs to paint a really vivid picture of that future state, right? And then 
at the very beginning when you find yourself you know with difficulties regaining momentum you want to every single day in the morning read that to yourself out loud and it's important that you do it out loud so that you actually hear those you know those words and it's important that as you're reading it you actually imagine yourself in that situation you really want to you know vividly imagine yourself being that person and being in that situation and do this every single day I would say for at least three weeks and you will see how this really helps you to gain momentum so now this positive visualization is really good for um, gaining motivation however and surprisingly at least to me research shows that it's not very good at maintaining motivation you know for some reason after a while this kind of positive imagination of a really positive goal that we've achieved is not enough to keep us going however research shows that negative visualization can be really good at that what do I mean by negative visualization? It's kind of, well, basically the opposite of positive visualization, whereby you vividly imagine, you know, what's going to happen if you don't do the work today, right? And again, you want to do that, you want to imagine that pretty, pretty vividly, right? Um, where you're going to be, who you're with, how are you feeling, right? Um, what missed opportunities are there, right, for you? all those different things right and a good trick to do that is you know is think about the three tens i think it's called and so you want to think about the negative consequences of not doing the action in 10 hours from now in 10 days in 10 months and in 10 years right from now and this really puts things into perspective for you. So like, that's, that's a trick that I kind of go through whenever, for example, I get up in the morning and I don't want to exercise, right? So usually like I get up at 5.30 a.m. and I hit the gym, my gym is at home, and I hit the gym and I exercise, right? But I don't always feel like it, you know? I'm not always super motivated to do it. So I could skip the exercise, but what I try to do is just visualize the consequences, right? So what's the consequence in like five or 10 hours from now if I don't do the exercise? Well, I'll probably feel less energetic and I'll feel sleepy and I might feel you know regret i might feel a bit pissed off with myself for not doing it right in 10 days from now well if i don't do exercise once it's likely that i might kind of break the habit and stop doing it right so in 10 days from now i might not be doing it in 10 months from now well i might be getting fat which isn't great right and then in 10 years from now if i stop doing exercise well what could be the consequences well you know i might have cardiac problems and you know and i might end up in hospital or you know or whatever those kind of things right so you can do the same thing with you know let's say if you lose motivation be it with writing your research paper going to the lab doing phd work and any other goals that you have like that right so the bottom line is if you want to gain motivation and get started do positive visualization if you want to maintain motivation long term do negative visualization and think about the negative consequences of something in like 10 hours 10 days 10 months and 10 years from now to put things into perspective and to help you to actually do the action that you're supposed to be doing so if you found it valuable then subscribe and like this video so that you don't miss future videos and if you want to work with me more closely to help you regularly write research papers for top journals in your field then book a free one-to-one -one consultation and the link is right below this video and during that consultation either with myself or a member of my team we're going to dive deeper into the problems that you are facing when it comes to writing research papers and we'll outline how you can solve those problems to achieve your goals faster and the link to book that consultation is somewhere below this video